If you don't let it go, you're going to still be in this loop of relapsing and relapsing and relapsing and relapsing all the time. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy to run. And today we back at it again with that organic truth. So my NoFap three week journey, boom, it's completed. Now we're moving on to week four. All right, so we know that week one was the craziest. Week one and week, week two was probably one of the craziest one. Week three was okay because I feel like I was able to master some part of my body. So week three really didn't give me any trouble like week one and week two did. Now I'll repeat it again, man. If you're a man and you're watching this video right here and you have never, I'm talking about never been on the NoFap journey, I, I'm, look, listen, man, listen. I don't know what you're waiting on. I encourage you to hop on it as soon as possible if you really want to see improvement in your life, if you really want to see improvement in your personal development. So a lot of you guys already know the reason why I really hopped on NoFap is because number one, I have a lot of plans in mind already and I have a lot of that needs to be accomplished. And in order for me to do so, I have to be in a focused mindset. I'm talking about no distraction whatsoever because those tend to really set me back whenever I want to accomplish any of my goals or my tasks. So distraction is really my biggest back and not only that but you know like the thought of really releasing also is what really set me back because it gives me a brain fog i know a lot of you guys have been dealing with brain fog for a very long time and it's normally when you can't really think straight or when your brain is just all over the place it's not able to be focused it's kind of like there's a cloud in your mind to where there's no clarity so just dealing with brain fog alone has been really setting me back you know for the past couple years so this is not really something new but getting on this no fab journey one thing that i was really able to see that you know i really 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 am happy for is the fact that i now have clarity all right i'm not experiencing this brain fog anymore because the only thoughts that i have in my head is the thoughts of getting better i don't have any thoughts to really go out there and release i don't have any thoughts to go out there and do certain things that i'm going to regret later on the only thoughts that i have in my head is to get better and every day that thought just seems to increase and increase now many of you guys might take this light man when you have a brain fog it's really very very hard to see what where you're going in life and it's very hard to really walk in the direction that you're supposed to be walking in when you have a brain fog your character your your soul your your heart your mind everything is just out of order there is literally no unity in all of it your character is all over the place because your mind is just not there so getting on no fat man is definitely going to help you increase that clarity now i know i really didn't feel this clarity on my week one journey you know when i was on week one i really did feel that clarity now you know because on week one it was more so about the urge the urge of me releasing was very, very bad in week one, all right? I felt like I had to. It felt like a force really pushed me to go up there and release. So once I completed week one, week two came. Week two was also kind of tough, but I was able to actually overcome week two because at the end of the day, it's all about just your mindset. Where are you really putting your mind at? Are you able to overcome certain things that your body desires, but your mind is able to fight it? Are you able to overcome that? Week two for me was just a battle of the mind and the soul and the spirit of me all over. It was a battle, man, for me to really overcome that. But still, my clarity was not really there. Yes, I'm able to stay focused. Yes, I was able to stay focused. Yes, I was able to, you know, um, follow my task and all this good stuff. But I still felt like I was lacking this clarity, all right, to see things clear, to understand clear to think clear without me having the urge to really go up there and release but after week three came and actually once i completed week three that's when i realized that how important it is to really 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 obtain this benefit of clear clarity it's crazy because anytime i'm thinking about doing something i i get it done without being lazy without feeling lazy because sometimes when you get want to get things done your mind just seem lazy and some of that is because you might be tired you might be overwhelmed you know you just might be fatigued to the point where your mind is like sit down relax you know this is it's not time for you to do it yet but when you have this clarity it kind of like pushes you to become more disciplined and really get things done without feeling lazy or without feeling like you're being pulled back now, i know a lot of guys out there man a lot of fellas out there i know y'all struggling man struggling with this clarity y'all struggling with it man i'm telling y'all like it's doable it's doable many people when they get on nofap you know they would get on it they would do a really good job for the first couple weeks first week second week third week do a really good job and some they will do a really good job for a couple of days 
but then you know when you come across certain people certain things or certain distraction that kind of just put a bullet in your head kind of forces you to relapse then you end up falling into the trap and that's one thing you want to avoid when you get on this no fab journey it is not easy because trust me people really think that you have to relapse all the time you don't have to relapse all the time when you choose to get on this no fab journey you're literally signing up to become the best version of yourself and becoming the best version of yourself you're good it's gonna be a lot of challenges in your way i'm talking about it's gonna be uh spiritual warfare mental warfare physical warfare like it's gonna be tough it's not gonna be something that you're gonna come in walking apart and expect things to get easy because when people see this word no fat you know what i mean it just sounds so cliche it sounds so easy oh well i can do that i can go two three weeks four weeks or uh, five weeks two months, three months without relapsing. You know, it sounds so easy when you hear this word, no fat. But one thing that you guys feel to realize is that us as men, man, it's crazy, man. It's kind of, it, it's hard for us to really go a long time without having the thought of relapsing. It's very hard. It's something that it's kind of like, it crawls in your skin every day. It crawls in your heart all the time. But then only a few people really survive only a few people overcome the thought of relapsing. It's gonna be a point where you're gonna relapse. It's gonna be a point, a time when you're gonna relapse, but you gotta make sure that it's a time that you're comfortable relapsing, all right? A lot of people start and they relapse so early. I'm talking about in a matter of a few days because they can't handle the pressure that that thought process is really eating them up all the way in and out. So guys, week three was a success. I'm not too happy about it yet because I feel like it's only been three weeks. It's only been 21 days days okay so i'm not like too excited yet I'm, i don't even want to get excited because i want this thing to become more of a lifestyle because i believe people should be bettering themselves every single day every day that you wake up you have to have the mindset that you want to become the best version of yourself whoever you were yesterday when you wake up you want to put in your mind that you don't want to become that person but you want to become the best version of that person that you were yesterday and what's a better way to do it than getting on no fab and really aligning your goals and attacking them aggressively you guys are not alone if you're out there if you feel like it's time for you to relapse if you feel like you really have this thought of relapsing so quick and so easily all right if you feel like this is you right now i'm telling you it is not too late to remain strong all right it's not too late the, those distractions are going to be your biggest enemy i'm telling you when you get on nofap you have to minimize your distractions and for that i'm talking about mainly women or anything that trigger your mind to think about women all right you gotta let those things go man i'm telling you let it go all right if you don't let it go you're gonna still be in this loop of relapsing and relapsing and relapsing and relapsing all the time because even if you let it go and you keep thinking about it, eventually you're gonna wanna test that out. You're gonna wanna relapse. You're gonna wanna go back and look at that person that you like to see every single day. You know what I mean? You're gonna keep doing the same old things because you're allowing that spirit, that energy to really come into you. Man, you gotta get to the point where you're literally saying no to that. It don't matter. It does not matter if that thought come in your head. You gotta make, you gotta tell yourself that you're not gonna do whatever it is that you're thinking about doing right now. All right? Because we all know before we do anything, we think about it first. We have the thought in our mind before we commit the action. So really actions are some are stuff that we have to decide either we're gonna do it or not do it. Your thoughts might be harder to control, but your actions can be a lot easier to control because it have to take you your mind your soul your spirit and literally have to take all of all of you you know within you to make that decision to commit whatever action you want to commit but when you're able to really stand strong man and tell yourself that you're not gonna fall into the trap the more that you do it the more of, of a lifestyle is gonna become because it's gonna become a habit for you to really say no to it to those things that's gonna make you relapse and move on to better things in life so guys i really encourage anybody on this nofap journey if you're on this nofap journey and you you're going strong i'm talking about you're going strong days strong months strong even years strong i salute you because the goal is not is to not count my days but the goal is to make it a lifestyle to become the best version of myself and for you guys to also become the best version of yourself y'all know it's your boy to run i appreciate y'all for really watching this video and y'all know we speak nothing but that organic truth man appreciate y'all love y'all man stay tuned man let's keep going i'm out whoop